Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice exponential equation which is 3 to power t times 3 to power t times 3 to power t this is equal to 36 so what is the value of t? let's prevent a solution from here this exponential equation is in the form of a to power n times a to power m which we can express as a to power n plus m Applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power t plus t plus t. This is equal to 36. This implies that we have 3 to the power t plus t plus t. This is 3t. This is equal to 36. To solve for t here, we introduce logarithm on both sides so that we have log 3 to the power 3t. This is equal to log 36. The next step is that log 3 to power 3t, this is in the form of log a to power n, which we can express as n log a. Applying this power root property, then log 3 to power 3t becomes 3t log 3. This is equal to log 36. The next step is to divide both sides by log 3, here by log 3. So that now, let's simplify here. Then we have 3t is equal to log 36 divided by log 3. The next step is that we can express 36 as 9 times 4. Let's substitute this here. We have 3t. This is equal to log 9 times 4. Everything here divided by log 3. Log 9 times 4. This is in the form of log a times b, which we can express as log a plus log b. Applying this logarithm property, then here we have 3t. This is equal to log 9 divided by log 3 plus log 4 divided by log 3. The next step from here, we can express 9 as 3 to the power 2 and we can express 4 as 2 to the power 2. Therefore, we have 3t, this is equal to log 3 to the power 2 divided by log 3 then plus log 4 which is log 2 to the power 2 divided by log 3 now log 3 to the power 2 applying the power rule property that is log a to the power n this is the same thing as n log a so applying this property we have 3t this is equal to log 3 to power 2 which becomes 2 log 3 divided by log 3 then plus log 2 to power 2 this becomes 2 log 2 divided by log 3 the next step is that log 3 and log 3 simplifies so that we have 3t this is equal to 2 plus 2 log 2 divided by log 3. The next step is that log 2 divided by log 3. This is in the form of log A over log B, which we can express as log A to base B. Applying this logarithm property, then we have 3t. This is equal to 2 plus 2 log 2 to base 3. Now, the next step is to divide both signs by 3, so that now here we have the value of t equal to 2 over 3 plus 2 over 3. This is log 2 to base 3. Now, since 2 over 3 is common here, we can factor out 2 over 3 so that we have 2 over 3 into the parentheses 1 plus log 
2 to this 3 close the parentheses here now this is the value of t the next step from here is to verify that this value of t satisfies the equation so let's verify from here now if you recall we have that 3 to the power of t times 3 to the power of t times 3 to the power of t this is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, this exponential equation is in the form of a to power n times a to power m, which we can express as a to power n plus m. Applying this exponent property, then this implies we have 3 to power t plus t plus t. This is equal to 30. Six. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. So we have 3 to the power of 3 t. This should give us a value of 36. Let's substitute the value of t from here. So we have 3 to the power of 3 times t. t is 2 over 3. Into the parentheses, we have 1 plus log 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Let's simplify here by 3 by 3 so that now we have 3 to the power of 2 plus now we have 2 log 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now let's simplify here 3 and 3 simplifies. So that we have 3 to the power of 2 times 1, this is 2, plus 2 times 2 log 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. So we have 3 to the power of 2 plus 2 log 2 to base 3. Remember this is a power, so we can express this as 3 to the power of 2 plus, now, log 2 to power 2, then to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, 3 to the power of 2 plus log 2 to power 2 to base 3. This is in the form of a to the power of n plus m, which you can express as a to the power n times a to the power of m. Applying this exponent property, then we have 3 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of log 2 to the power 2 to base 3. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. So 3 to the power of 2, this is equal to 9. And you find that 3 to the power of log 2 squared, this is 4, to base 3. This is actually in the form of m to the power of log a to base m, which is supposed to give us a value of a. Applying this logarithm property from here, we have 3 to the power of log 4 to base 3. This is equal to 4. Now, let's substitute this. We have 3 squared times 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 36. Now, 3 squared, this is equal to 9. So we have 9 times 4. This is equal to 36. So 9 times 4, this is 36, which is equal to 36. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. And this implies that the value of t, which is 2 over 3, into the parentheses, 1 plus rock 2 to base 3, satisfies the equation. So kindly of follow the steps. Like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye bye.